DC motor uh, goes faster when you give it more voltage. That's it. An AC motor goes faster if you give it a higher frequency. It's like sound frequencies. You want it to go faster, you would go, ah, uh, car goes faster. Ah, uh, car goes really fast. And that's kind of like, in a nutshell, how it works. We're here at EV West. Let's go! Amazing! You guys are like are just driving all over the world just to track down the people that are really going to help you with your project and that's really cool. So how do you guys know each other? Well, these 914s are kind of magical. They bring people together. That's right. And uh, I was restoring this car right here to convert it to electric, but I wanted it to be like perfect. I basically bought everything I needed from this guy right here. This guy is the man when it comes to electric 914s. So man! Mark and Matt, aka 914 Rubber and at 914 Electric. I'm here with two amazing people and we're going to get a tour of EV West. So we're just curious, how's it going? How's the project going? Well, it we haven't done any of the electric stuff really, Fine. but the car was already previously converted. Basically trying to take everything off to prep it for paint. So the next big thing is polo paint. So what do I basically need to know for this kind of, kind of conversion? I think more than any piece of knowledge, it's about methodology. And so it's about uh, talking to a variety of sources and getting input. It's important to note that EV conversions are really new, so there might not be one right answer. I always recommend people start with paper and just sit down and kind of draw out roughly your schematic and start real general, you know, motor, battery, charger, controller, etc. And then start kind of filling in cables with that. And then with each iteration, you'll get more and more detail, and you'll find that by the time you're actually ready to install it, you've created a really good roadmap for yourself. I am the king of buying an old Porsche. <laughs> working on the car. I have a project over there. I don't know if I showed it to you, but it's a 912. I bought it uh, probably eight or nine years ago uh, to convert. And this whole time, I've just been working on the body and rust and everything else, and pushing it aside. So I understand how that goes. <laughs> My mom's car has like two pedals, and then my car has three. Uh huh. Which I think the third one is called a clutch. Right. Which I'm just now learning. Uh huh. So, should I keep the clutch or just. Well, I would recommend keeping the clutch. The torque curve, the power band on the motor, is so broad that you can start out in third gear. And, and while everybody else is behind you in your rear view mirror, <laughs> they're shifting, you're still accelerating. Really fun. Uh, so you mean I don't even have to shift? No, not at all. You could just keep it in third and drive it around in third. But you know when you're on the freeway, you're going to want to be in third because it's just so smooth. Yeah. But what's up with this car? This is the same car that my mom has and the car that I'm learning to drive with. Really? Yes. Have you been behind the wheel yet? Uh, yes. Oh, wow. Is that fun? It's fun, yes. I can go around the driveway. Oh, nice. Yes. This car is a BMW i3 and it is electric, which is super amazing. I really love this car. This is called a Dowsitz Comet. So Dowsitz is the motor company. It's uh, owned by uh, Ant. Ant. This is completely handmade, this cage right here for this Tesla motor. You look at it and you're like, oh, well, a factory did that. No, some guy did that with their hands. It's pretty amazing. The batteries are going to go in the 
floor pan right here, up the center, and then in the front. So it's going to have a, a full Tesla pack. It's probably going to be really fast. So is this going to double at the trunk, or is it just going to be like all the components? It's just going to be the motor and all the EV components. This bus belongs to Zach Galifianakis, who is a comedian and an actor. He was in that movie, The Hangover. So why are some cars AC and some cars are DC? Back in the day when people started like thinking, oh, this might be cool. They were using DC motors because that's all you could get. And then they would have uh, lead acid batteries, like old like car batteries that are really heavy. It's because we didn't have lead back then. But now like things have changed. The AC motor is, is much better, much more efficient. It uses the energy from the pack more efficiently. Um, you get regenerative braking, which you don't get with a DC motor. And plus there's there's no maintenance on an AC motor. Like you put it in the car, you never have to service the motor again. Well, thank you guys so much for letting me come here and like learn all about this stuff. You guys are all super amazing. I love this place. You guys have such cool cars and like just like everything oh, and all the motors so and batteries. Yeah, well, this is why we do it. We love inspiring yeah. builds. This is literally the best part of this. It's super rewarding for guys like Mark and I. So, oh, absolutely. We really appreciate it. Keep building. And now you're doing what we're doing, and you're out there building cars and inspiring other people to build electric cars. Okay, so there is a Porsche to build and a wave to catch, so I should probably get going. All right. All right. Thank you guys so much. Okay. Bye. 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 Sunny Saturday afternoon, and stopping for lunch, and the wind in your hair. <laughs>